Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another jeans and boots video today. I have the Levi's 514 straight and I'm gonna be trying it out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes so you can see if this jean is gonna be right for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. So I'm slowly working my way through all of the Wrangler's jeans and all of the Levi's jeans to see how each one of them fit with different kinds of cowboy boots. So that led me to this one right here, the 514 straight fit. And I'm really excited to try these out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. But you know where we have to start. We gotta break down the details with the rundown. Yes, this is the Levi's 514 straight leg stretch jean and it is a flex fit with 88% cotton, 11% polyester, and 1% elastane. The color of this specific jean is the birch color. The fit is described as sitting below the waist. It's got regular fit through the thighs and a straight leg. And I was able to get my stackable size of a 32, 36, that's what I usually like to go for with straight leg jeans and it also allows them to shrink up a little bit in the dryer for the perfect fit. This jean is listed as having a 16 inch leg opening. It has a zip closure. They are made in Egypt and they're coming in at $48.65 at the time of this recording over at Amazon.com. Now it's time to try on these jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. All right, let's kick things off with a roper boot. This is a Chisos King Roper, full quill ostrich foot with a roper toe and a one inch heel. It also comes in at eight inches tall with an ostrich top as well. So this is a nice fitting jean right off the bat. Although I don't think the leg opening is 16 inches wide like it's listed. I think that this is more like the fit of a 505, a Levi 505, at least with the leg opening down here. So the difference is though that it's, you, get, you get a little bit more here around the calves and maybe a little bit more around the thighs. I also did get my stackable size, so we are getting a lot of bunching here, uh, which is okay, you know, Levi's shrink up on me quite a bit, so I would imagine this goes away after a dry, a wash and dry, uh, but we'll have to see. Let's try it out with a Hondo boot Uto. All right, here we have a Uto cowboy boot. This is a Hondo 7875 with a two inch heel, and it comes in at 14 inches tall. And the stacking of this jean is doing a good job covering up all of that leather, so you really don't know how tall those boots are. And I like the look of this. This is a good stack that we're getting here. Looks good with these jeans. It's not too much. And like I said, it'll probably shrink up a little bit if it's anything like my other Levi's, but we'll have to see. First, we gotta get through these boots and next up is an Arto. All right, here's a medium round toe example or Arto. JW Boot Company, who makes this boot, calls this an oval toe, but it's pretty close to some of these other R toes over here. It also has about an inch and a half heel and it comes up about 12 inches tall. One of the things that I really like about this boot is this hourglass heel shape here and the jeans do a good job of stopping right around that area to show that off. So the leg opening of these jeans is working well with these boots in particularly and we're still getting a good amount of stacking maybe a little too much for my liking, but again, I'm really afraid that these jeans are gonna shrink up when they dry, and I really like to put my jeans in the dryer since up here in the Northeast, it gets humid, it gets wet, it gets wintry, really wintry, and I can't always dry my jeans outside. So to be able to throw some jeans in the dryer is always a nice benefit. So let's go over and try these with a J-toe cowboy boot. All right, here's a J-toe example or a narrow round toe. This is a BNV water buffalo calf boot with a inch and five eighths heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. These go with damn near every jean that I've ever tried it with and these 514s are no exception. You know, 
I'm really liking the fit around the thighs. A lot of the jeans that I've been trying recently are super, super tight around my gams here, my man gams. And you know, I do a lot of walking. I make sure that I do my squats and my leg exercises at the gym. So I want to be able to have some jeans that don't completely constrict my thighs all the time. And this is a nice fit around here and a little bit wider, relaxed fit around the calves as well. The waist is pretty comfortable and that stretch is definitely noticeable as well. So it's not as stretchy as some of the other flex denims that I've tried before with a high amount of polyester, but you can definitely tell that it's there and they're pretty lightweight too. Let's try these jeans now with a snip toe. All right, here's our snip toe example. This is the Flores boot from Heritage Boot Company. It's all hand tooled, it looks beautiful. It's got about an inch and a half heel here and it comes up about 12 to 13 inches tall. You can see all this hand lacing on the tops and everything, so there's a lot of material for these jeans to cover up and they are doing a good job at it, you know? I like these jeans, I like how lightweight they are, I like how comfortable they are, and again, they're going pretty well here with these boots. But let's try it with a shorter boot that's wide at the tops and a narrow square toe. All right, here's our narrow square toe example. This is a Cobra snakeskin boot from Cowtown Boot Company. It also has about an inch and a quarter heel and it comes in at about 10 inches tall and these tops are really, really wide. So if you have short boots that have wide tops, sometimes jeans might be tough to find for them because when you try to stack, you get a bucket effect where the jeans sort of sag down into the tops because they can't go any further down the heel. This isn't too bad. I mean, we are starting to see a little bit over here, but I actually thought it was gonna be worse. So it might sort of sag in there throughout the day, but right now it's doing a pretty good job with boots that have short tops that are also wide at the same time. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> now let's try out these jeans with a French toe. All right, here's a French toe example. This is a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly boot with about an inch and a half heel and it comes in at 12 inches tall. I like where these jeans stop on a lot of these heels here because you get to see the entire boot, right? If you have nice boots, you wanna make sure that the world can see them, or at least that you can see them. I mean, that's the whole reason why you're wearing boots is to be comfortable, and especially boots like this. I mean, dress boots, you wanna make sure that people see them and that you can see them too. So this jean is doing a good job actually showing off the boot because if you get too wide down there, then you don't show off the boot and your feet actually look smaller, which isn't really a good thing in my opinion. So good combo here, but let's check it out with one final boot and that's the wide square toe with a double stitch welt. All right, here's our wide square toe with a double stitch welt. This is an Anderson Bean ostrich boot with about a one and a quarter inch heel and it comes in at 13 inches tall. This is a good look. You know, I feel like with a lot of wide square toe boots, you need to be able to stack a little bit just because it's so wide down here. And sometimes it looks a little bit goofy on my more svelte frame, right? Because the wide square kind of looks more wide than my leg itself. So you can combat against that by <laughs> trying to stack your jeans a little bit, make it a little bit more wider around at the ankles if you really wanted to wear wide square toe boots. So this works really well. I'm actually kind of surprised about how well these jeans work with all of these boots, considering the fact that the leg opening isn't as wide as I thought it was going to be. And it also fits really comfortable around the waist, the thighs, and the lower leg. I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, so I wore these Levi's 514 jeans around a little bit and I have some extra thoughts here before I sign off for the day. I put them in the washer and the machine dryer just to see how they shrunk up. And here is the before and after. As you can see, they did shrink up around the thighs a little bit, but not too much, not 
so much like some, the other Levi's jeans that I've tried. There still is some nice room in there and they also shrunk up in length as well. So they're looking really nice with these ropers now, not quite as baggy as they looked when they were brand new. So overall, I like the lightweight stretch denim. It's very, very comfortable to wear. It's not very hot, so it's kind of a cool jean to wear temperature wise, but also it looks cool too. And it looks great with pretty much all of the boots that I tried in this video. So it's very versatile as well. And it's an all around good looking casual jean. But I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Now the Levi's 514 is a pretty nice casual jean. Looking good with all the boots from Hondo to Anderson Bean. Hey. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Levi's jeans video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.